When we were children, we were told that we have a motherland, and that motherland was Spain. However, we have discovered later in our lives that as a matter of fact, we have several motherlands, and one of the greatest motherlands of all is no doubt Africa. We love Africa and every day we are much more aware of the roots we have in Africa. Also, America is our motherland. Africa, America and Bolivar used to say that we are a new human race in Latin America, that we are not Europeans, nor Africans, or North Americans, that we are a mixture of all those races. And there is no doubt that Africa resounds with a pulse like a thousand drums and happiness and joy. But also there's a lot of pain when you think of Africa. Yesterday I met with the president of Mozambique because fully aware of these roots and these realities, we have designed an agenda for Africa in Venezuela. And we have spoken to other South American leaders. Lula, for instance, is fully aware of the African roots of Brazil and South America. And I want to share the African agenda with other leaders in South America. But Venezuela has also its own African agenda. In the case of Mozambique, the life expectancy in Mozambique is 38 years old and going down because AIDS is causing havoc in the population. It's terrible. It's a tragedy. It's a million Katrinas hitting this country. The president of Mozambique told me the number of children, orphan children, whose parents have died as a result of AIDS. The teachers are dying. The doctors are dying. That's a tragedy. And it's a disgrace. And that's why it hurts. It hurts so much to see the UN opening its doors, to listen to speeches and speeches and more speeches, while at the same time, every year, a population equivalent to Argentina today or Colombia die of hunger or Venezuela die of hunger and those deaths could be avoided. Most of them are children, little girls, little boys, and most of them are in Africa. So, we need like a shaking of the world, to shake up the world. That's why when people talk about my style, my style, that's why the speech I delivered yesterday before the United Nations Assembly, because it doesn't work, it's not working. If we reduced the military expenses in 10% of the world, we would have enough money to save millions of lives in this world. In Venezuela, with the little resources, few resources, we have initiated a program to bring food to feed the poor people in Venezuela. And we are covering today 15 million people in Venezuela receiving this food distribution and assistance. And most of them receive this food for free. And others a percentage. They have to pay only 50% of the total amount for the food they eat. And of course this is possible only if the people themselves participate and with a new awareness. 
Racism is very characteristic of imperialism. Racism is very characteristic of capitalism. Katrina is indeed has a lot to do with racism, no doubt about it. Hate against me has a lot to do with racism. Because of my big mouth, because of my curly hair. And I'm so proud to have this mouth and this hair because it's African. So we need a new morality, a new ethic at this point. And from my Christian point of view, we need a revolution of the ethic. And in the political and economic fields, we need to take back the flag of socialism, in my view, in order to be able to defeat with the will of the people, with the participation of the people, to beat those ominous phenomenon such as racism.